All right, guys, we're back to talk about Sweet 16 and big games coming up on Thursday and Friday. Mm-hmm. Got honoring the Jewish holiday for some, some schools this week. Mm-hmm. Um, Davidson Day is in the poll for the first time in school history. How about that? That's, that's pretty great. I mean, I, I voted him in there at, at 16. Um, I mean, they're beating a lot of teams, but they're beating them with 18 players or 23 players. they got yeah. such a small roster. Yeah. They're still able to compete with a lot of these public schools and, and bigger uh, public schools and stuff like that. So yeah. they've been impressive, even yeah. without Will Greer. 23 players to start the year. They lost five to injury, down to 18. In the second play of the game, they lose a Division One recruit in Chase Monroe to, to nose tackle him. And uh, they're at Marvin Ridge, which hadn't won a game, and, and they're in a battle. And, and what great teams do, they respond. And Anthony Jordan throws a 75 yard somewhat touchdown <laughs> pass to, you know, late in the fourth quarter to win the game. And, you know, they're they're right there undefeated, looking like they're going to go for a fourth straight state title. Yeah, Pretty I mean, impressive. they absolutely deserve to be there, in my opinion. So, yeah. Pretty impressive. Okay. Now, big games this week. Thursday, big one of the biggest private school games, if not the biggest private school game of the year, is Charlotte Christian at Charlotte. Mm-hmm. There's Charlotte Latin in my reverse, is it the other? I think Latin it's actually Christian. Yeah, yeah, Latin and Christian. And uh, both teams are undefeated, not undefeated, but Christian's lost once to Mallet Creek, so you kind of almost throw that out the window. <laughs> but Christian is the two-time defending state champion. They hadn't been a three-time state champion since Latin. Right. Latin have probably one of the best teams they've had since they last won the state championship. Quarterback Daniel Jones over 1,300 yards passing and scoring a gazillion points every week. But Latin is also giving up a gazillion points every right. week. Right. That's what worries me. There's a, there's a good offense on the other side of that field there with Christian. Yeah. you got Elijah DeVoe, uh, and you got a lot of weapons over there. But, I mean, I think Latin can give them a run. I think if Latin comes out, they're going to want to win. I obviously want to win this game, but they're going to be really motivated. They think they have a really good team. They think they can challenge and beat Christian. So if they come out hot, you never really know. One of my favorite coaches, Larry Minolti, was going to retire mm-hmm. a couple years ago. Now he's back, and he's got, got his team rolling. That's going to be one heck of a game. Another private school game, well, a game involving a private school coming up on uh, Friday, Weddington and Country mm-hmm. Day. Mm-hmm. How about that game? Yeah, I, I think the the safe pick would be to say Weddington wins that one. But you know, I, n- I never count out a good, well coached private school team. They they beat Durham Hillside earlier in the season. Um, I think again, you know, a good coach team will will, will push a Weddington team and, and see how. Weddington's it goes. undefeated. They're off to I think the second best start in school mm-hmm. history. They actually, uh, won seven or eight games a few years back. One of them ended up getting it was a forfeit win, but it, it still counts in record books. So they're off to the, the one of the best starts in school history. Football rolling at Weddington. Soccer is number one in Sweet 16. <laughs> they're rolling at Weddington. So yeah, that's a good fall season. Yeah. That's a really big game. And then we have a game down in South Carolina, York and Northwestern. York barely won last week against Rock Hill. Mm-hmm. And Northwestern had a struggle last week at Fort Mill. This is kind of the battle this year, I think, of, of, of Rock Hill football. Yeah, and York has looked really good all season. I mean, I know last week was a little closer uh, than maybe we expected, but I think York's a really good team. I, w- I mean, it's hard to pick on a Tuesday here, but I, th- I think that's going to be a really good game. That might be the two best teams in Rock Hill right there going against each other. Well, I'm impressed that uh, Dupree Hart and Northwestern mm-hmm. used to be all-state wide receivers. Now they're starting quarterback, mm-hmm. and he just stepped into the position mid-years, having a phenomenal year every week, putting, putting up great stats. They're having a great season. I'm going to pick Northwestern. I think Northwestern's figuring it out, and I think they're getting it together and looking like the team that was nationally ranked in preseason right. that everybody thought they would be. Yeah. So the big guys in Charlotte this week, the Butlers and the Mallet Creeks, they have games that are going to be a little bit more heavily favored. But we're starting to get into the teeth of conference play. Let's talk right. about those conferences. Who do you see as your favorites in each of the three CMS conferences? Um, I think I would go Butler with uh, with the Southwestern 4A. Boy, boy, boy. Uh, Independence, Independence is right there. Uh, I, I mean, it, it, I, I can't wait. Independence, I wish they played some of the bigger teams in the early season because they're, they're winning all their games and they're looking really good, but I'm not sure. Only one team scored on them all year. Right, and yeah, that's great. They're, they're a really solid team, but I think, you know, I've seen Butler play Richmond. You, you've seen him play Mountain Tabor. You've seen him play Mowry Creek. You see where they are with some of the bigger schools in the state. And Independence, as impressive as they are, I don't know, you know, when, once they start playing some of these big teams. That's why Butler gets the edge right, right now. What about the Solmec and the Mecca? So that's going to be fun. Uh, I think with Chris or uh, Charlotte Catholic, with Providence, with mm. even Audrey Kell getting in there, South mm. Mex looked good. Yeah. I think that's going to be the most fun conference battle to watch is, is watching those three, four teams kind of come out. That Olympic could even sneak in there somewhere. I mean, you never really know. And what about up in the uh, northern end of the county, the Mecca, the Mallet Creeks, and the Vances of the world? Who, Mallet who, Creek. Mallet Creek. Yeah. Mallet Creek. All right. Yeah. Strong. Vance, Vance looks really good, though. So those really are his picks. I'm not making any Come on. you got to make some picks, too. <laughs> we'll catch you next week. <laughs>